Welcome to Cooking with Carolina Nephrology. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman, and thanks for joining us today. And we have a great fresh seafood recipe, one of my favorites. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, I'm joined today by Bob Barreto, and Bob is going to show us how to make what? We're going to make cioppino today. Hmm. What is cioppino? Cioppino. Cioppino is uh, basically a, a northern Italian meal. It's uh, it's a fisherman stew. Uh, we used to uh, eat it a lot when in San Francisco when we lived there, uh, and whenever we go out and visit, that always seems to be the kind of thing we go looking for. So. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of trip. Uh, yeah, I love uh, fresh seafood and uh, dialysis patients. Uh, we want them to eat fresh and eat healthy, and this is a great way to do it. This is kind of a special occasion recipe because you're going to be using some fresh, delicious seafood, but it's quick and easy. Um, and uh, now, Bob, you have some relation to uh, kidney disease, right? You're, you have, have a, a family member? I have a family member. I have a brother-in-law that uh, has had a kidney, kidney transplant and uh, continues to have uh, kidney disease. And he's doing very well? He's doing real well, but uh, his uh, diet is a little too bland for the rest of the family. So <laughs> this is one of those things that's got a lot of fresh food and it's uh, it's friendly for, uh, you know, for that type of thing. And so we're going to we're going to push it. Great. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, why don't you lead us through, Bob? All right. Um, I've preheated uh, two or three teaspoons. I don't measure anything. It looks like about two or three teaspoons of, of olive oil. And we'll start by cooking down uh, the uh, onions. And we're going to do that for a couple of minutes. Uh, we don't want to overcook them. We don't want to caramelize them. All that does is turn them to sugar and sweeten our meal, which we don't want to do. I've got this on medium and we will cook until they are translucent and the only reason I'm stirring these is to break them, break them up but you don't want to over stir anything because you tend to turn it to mush. <laughs> That's not what you like to cook? Mush is not I don't favorite. like to cook mush. There's <laughs> no reason to have fresh food and, uh, and then turn it into mush. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the garlic. Um, I tend to buy short, squatty garlics because I'm short and squatty, and also because the uh, that means a good plump clove is uh, is moister. It's going to have a lot more flavor. It's not going to be salty. It's not going to taste salty, but it's going to have a lot of flavor in it. Now, now that's some serious garlic. That is four big cloves. Now, I would use six, but I'm not sure you guys could take it. <laughs> And uh, garlic is a lot of flavor as well and totally kidney friendly. No problems with potassium or phosphorus with that garlic. So add it to everything you can. It's delicious. Okay, now we're going to start with, uh, this is a 28 ounce can of uh, Italian tomatoes. The Italian tomatoes tend to taste a little better in my opinion. They're grown in volcanic soil. Uh, I just learned that there's a lot of potassium in this. So instead of using a 28 ounce can, we're going to use about two thirds of that. That's the most measuring you will ever see me do. <laughs> and then we're going to substitute some of that with low sodium chicken broth, just to make sure we have enough liquid in there. Now, uh, I know a lot of your alarms are going off using that uh, tomato sauce for the dish, but you know, if you break this down into uh, a lot of different servings, it doesn't turn out to be that much potassium per person. Um, the other thing um, to think about is, uh, uh, if you really have to limit that potassium, you can use a different uh, percentage of tomatoes versus the chicken broth in there, and uh, it'll turn out delicious anyway. All right. Now, once that gets going, what we'll add is we took some dry cremini mushrooms. We put them in about a cup of warm water. We let them rehydrate. We go ahead and we add those, and we add the mushroom water. Now. Don't pour in that last little bit because if there's any dirt or sand that gets left over in the mushrooms, you don't want it in your chipino or anything else. Then we've got about, it looks like about two tablespoons of fresh uh, uh, Italian oregano. Fresh spices, always a plus. Everything fresh. And then we're going to go ahead and let this cook down for just a couple of minutes, let it start boiling just a little bit. If you have to turn the heat up, go ahead and turn the heat up, but make sure you do not burn the bottom of your pan. And I'll just say another word about that potassium because uh, um, 
you know, if, depending on what kind of dialysis that you're on, uh, can really determine how much potassium you can have in your diet. And I encourage you to talk to your uh, dietitian or nutritionist and figure out exactly how much potassium you can have. Because there are people who are on peritoneal dialysis, dialysis, people who are on home hemodialysis, and their diets are much more liberal than those who are going three times a week to the dialysis center. So, um, you know, they, they will work with you and you can figure out exactly how much of uh, potassium you can have in your diet. The typical recommendation is 2,000 milligrams or so for a dialysis patient, but it is widely variable. So uh, just talk to them about that. You can get a better feel for how much potassium to put in. Okay. Now we're going to add uh, some cod. You can use red snapper, but you need to use a nice meaty fish. If you use something like salmon or tuna, it's going to come apart in the meal. This will come apart a little bit in the meal, but uh, you do not want to do that because you end up again with mush and we don't want mush. Now you'll also notice I don't use any sodium, I don't use any salt in my cooking. Somebody can add that later. So you, you used to use more salt than you do now. I used to yeah. use more salt than I did now and I also used to eat out a lot more than I do now, which gets you a lot of sodium as a bonus whether you want it or not. Tell, tell our audience what happens to your taste buds when you start cutting out on the salt in your, in your food. Your taste buds get sharper on everything else. They sure do. So if you so. can start cutting back on that salt, you will not miss it in, in no time. Okay, after these have gone for a couple of minutes, go ahead and add your shrimp and your scallops. And on the measurements, I did, uh, I did weigh or get by this by weight. I bought about a pound of cod about three quarters of a pound of scallops. You can use, either use the bay scallops or the small scallops. Uh, and then the shrimp, these are medium shrimp, I bought about three quarters of a pound of that. This should serve six people. So we're just gonna let this go. Now the last thing you add uh, before you uh, just let it cook for a little bit is red pepper. Now since I haven't eaten lunch, and this is gonna be my lunch, that is about what you should add, which is just about a quarter of a tablespoon. But since, like I said, it's since I'm eating here, we're dumping the rest of it in. <laughs> now, red pepper flakes are fine as well for people on dialysis. No problem there. A lot of flavor, a lot of heat. A lot of flavor, and it substitutes for the salt. So how long are uh, those shrimp going to cook for? They're going to cook for three or four minutes. So the whole cooking time on this whole meal at the end of the day is 10 to 12 minutes is all it takes. Uh, obviously, if the shrimp are bigger, you can go ahead and cook a little longer, maybe another minute. Now, th there's a lot of protein in this uh, dish, uh, seafood protein, which would be nice and healthy. And uh, if you're trying to boost up your protein as a dialysis patient, this would be a great way to get a lot of protein in there. All right, we are going to start here. See all that nice chunky stuff in there. And we're going to... Blake, could you grab some of that parsley and sure. throw a little bit on the top there? There we go. You want it in the main dish or just on right the Right in there. Do you mind? There we go. Chef sprinkling technique. Piece of bread, good crusty bread so you can do some dunking. Fabulous. Yeah, we are ready. Yum. Have at it. Thank you. Okay. Mmm. All right. I got a mmm. That's delicious. You like? The garlic is very good. Good. I love garlic. Good. Yum. Spicy enough? Can you taste the red pepper? I can taste the red pepper. Does it need any salt? Doesn't need any salt. Perfect. I could even use a little red pepper, one more red pepper. You can have all you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. Well, Bob, what a treat. This was delicious. Thank you so much for this uh, fresh, healthy meal. Thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, I hope to see you next time on Cooking with Carolina Nephrology. Uh, this is a delicious dish. It's perfect for uh, serving up for guests. Uh, visit us at www.carolinanephrology.com cooking and see all our great recipes there. Thank you.